We are his church, a called out one, called out by God, in, but not of, this world. We have been raised from the spiritually dead by him. We were born from above for his glory, to live is Christ in us by the Holy Spirit who came into us when we first believed. The dead world holds no merit nor joy for us except as we live Jesus Christ crucified in newness of life, in his truth and in his love. We are priests and saints ministers of the gospel. God has called us out to serve him at his pleasure, and we look for a better place Christ has built for us, the golden city, new Jerusalem in the sky. We are his. He will never give us up. Our salvation is secure in Him. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are blessed. We are a saint, holy and without blame, one of God's elect. We are established to the very end. We are priests. We have assurance from Christ. We are dead to sin. Our new nature is from above. Our old nature remains. We are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. We are joint heirs with Christ. We are sealed for life with the Holy Spirit. We are in Christ by His doing. We are accepted in the Beloved. We are complete in Him. We are crucified and alive with Christ. We are reconciled to God our Father and free from condemnation. We are fellow citizens with all the saints before us and ahead of us and of the household of God and qualified to share in the inheritance of our Lord. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Beloved, we are overtaken with great blessings and God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good and faithful works. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. We are the righteousness of God, his chosen and his ambassador. We are being changed into his image. We are raised up and are seated in heavenly places with Christ, who is our high priest. We are priests in Christ. We are beloved of God and delivered from the power of darkness and the devil and translated into the kingdom of his dear Son. We have access by the Holy Spirit to our Father at all times. 
Let us, therefore, come boldly to his throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace in time of need. We are his beloved. The Lord has promised that he will come to receive us to himself. I will come again and receive you unto myself so that where I am, there you also will be. We are promised a place with Jesus. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. We are promised a golden city we will dwell in with our Lord forever. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And the city was pure gold. We will keep the faith, for the Lord is the author and finisher of our faith. We are becoming more like Christ daily. We are the ones he gave his life for. We are one church in one Lord by the Holy Spirit. We will love one another for love is the badge of his salvation. We believe in his word for faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Beloved, we have a great miracle within us. He is the Lord. We are the real church. We are where the Lord is. Beloved, let the word of Christ dwell in us richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in our hearts to the Lord. And whatever we do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And above all, let us put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in our hearts to which also we were called in one body. And let us be thankful. And in our presence, beloved, let all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, according to the eternal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Beloved, we are not appointed to wrath, for God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, he will remove us from the earth before that terrible time of judgment. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh. And when we go, beloved, the Holy Spirit in the corporate entity of the church who we are is removed, and evil will have its full day, though the Spirit himself shall remain for salvation purposes and conviction during this terrible time. Beloved, we are in God's book of life forever. He that overcomes, I will clothe with white raiment, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will speak his name before my Father and before his angels. Beloved, we have true peace 
in our Lord Jesus. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives, give I to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We will be kept in perfect peace, whose mind is fixed on Jesus, because we trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God is everlasting strength. Beloved, we were known, chosen, predestined, and elected of God for our Lord Jesus Christ before we were born. And God has displayed his eternal purpose in his word to remind us that our salvation is no afterthought with him. Our salvation was God's forethought. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou loved me before the foundation of the world, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Finally, my beloved, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. For when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, who are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord.